What's up everyone? Welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I'm bringing on a backpacking trip of over four months. I'm not exactly sure yet for how long I'm going to be gone for but it's going to be at least four months and I'm just going to try and stretch for as long as possible. I'm only traveling with hand luggage so I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what backpack I am using on this backpacking trip and also I'm going to show you one of my best flight hacks. Traveling with just hand luggage can be a bit of a challenge especially if you're taking cheap flights. You're not always allowed to bring a lot of stuff with you so I have a really good hack that I use every single time so I still can bring actually loads of stuff with me when I'm traveling with only hand luggage. So yeah. I have also made a packing list and you guys can download it for free in the link down below. On this list I've added all of the travel essentials that you will need on your backpacking trip. If you're new here welcome on my channel. My name is Silvana and I've been traveling the world for the last eight years now and I've lived in over 20 countries. The next countries that I'm going to be visiting are Curacao, an island in the Caribbean, which is freaking amazing white sand beaches crystal clear water palm trees honestly just out of a magazine so i'm really excited to be traveling there and also taking you guys on this adventure next i'm going to be traveling to mexico my mom and my sisters actually live there so i'm going to be visiting them and also going to be surfing going to be exploring mexico eating good food eating tacos and i'm going to take you guys on that adventure as well and after that i'm not exactly sure where i'm going to be traveling yet and i really want to see some new countries this year because i keep going back to the same countries like Mexico and Curacao and Thailand because I love them so much. It's time to see some new countries this year and I actually set a goal for myself to see at least 10 new countries. So yeah, let's see if I can do that. If you want to follow along on my next adventures, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into this packing video. So I kind of have everything just laid out in front of me right now. Let's just start with my backpack, which is this baby right here. Actually, I've only had it for maybe four months now. I only travel with hand luggage, not only because I hate checking my luggage, but also checking in luggage can cost you so much money if you're traveling a lot. And I also just want to travel light because it's so much more convenient. So yeah, this is the backpack that I use. It is the Kipsta Urban 35 liters. And I got this one at Decathlon here in the Netherlands. Honestly, I love this bag, especially because it zips open like a suitcase, which I think is just super convenient. And it also has a lot of different pockets and compartments which is just everything to be honest it's just super handy to organize your stuff and yeah i just love this backpack i do gotta say 35 liters is not that much especially if you're just starting out with backpacking and you're still trying to figure out how to fit everything in only hand luggage i feel like this backpack might be a little bit too small they also have a bigger version of the same backpack which is 55 liters and i think if you don't stuff it too much it can still go in hand luggage so that would also be a really good option what i also love about this backpack is that it's fairly cheap like of course there are so many backpacking brands out there this one is from decathlon and i think i only paid 35 euros for it and i've been using it for a while now and it works perfectly fine the quality seems really 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 good as well it's super strong backpack so yeah i think this backpack is definitely worth your money but because 35 liters is just not exactly enough for me like I couldn't travel with just this backpack. I could if I'm only bringing clothing. I want to just bring like an extra pair of shoes. I have some other essentials that I'm bringing. I'm bringing like goggles and stuff like that. And I have a drone now. And I also have a lot of hair products and stuff. So this backpack is a little small. But that's why I have a really good flight hack for you guys. So on all of my travels, I bring a pillowcase with me. This pillowcase is really heavy. All of my clothes are in this bag right now, which is pretty crazy. The pillowcase doesn't actually count as a luggage item, which is amazing because I can have that backpack and like another personal item and bring this pillowcase and I do not have to pay extra for this. Wow, this is pretty much like an entire bag. Like it's pretty big. And I only hope this time I'm going to be smart enough to not forget my pillowcase at the airport because last time, as some of you guys know, I did this pillow hack, you know, it worked perfectly fine. Just as always but i forgot my pillowcase when we had like a super long layover in istanbul hey, i was just like stressing out where the f is my pillowcase which has like all of my clothes in it <laughs> yeah 
so literally arrived in Asia with no clothing because all of my clothes were in here and I had to go shopping there which you know wasn't that bad either let's open up this pillowcase and let me show you exactly what I'm bringing on this backpacking trip we are also traveling to warmer climates so just keep that in mind if you're traveling somewhere colder you might not need to bring as much tops and dresses like I am but yeah let's open this thing up I'm just gonna drop everything on the floor it's stuffed like so stuffed <laughs> Dude. Uh, so, these are all the clothing. I have a few packing cubes, or not really packing cubes, these are more like organizers, which are pretty handy. I do really need to get packing cubes because I feel like that would make my life a lot easier. But yeah, for now, I just have these organizers. And in this one, I have my underwear and socks and stuff like that. And in this one, I have all of my dresses. They're all in here. I have like one, two, three, four. I have like five dresses in here. Also, I feel like on this trip, I'm definitely bringing like a lot more clothing than I usually bring with me. I usually maybe only bring like one or two dresses, but I don't know. I kind of just felt like I want a more cute outfit. So yeah, I'm just bringing a bit more clothing. Six dresses are in here. Then, very important, I have a sarong. I love this one. And sarongs are super, super convenient. They're very lightweight and thin. And this is definitely something that you need to bring when you're backpacking because you might not always have a towel, for example. If you're going from hostel to hostel or whatever, you can use this for the beach. You can use this to, I don't know, as a yoga mat or something to like exercise on. I think this is definitely something that you must bring on your travels. It will really make your life so much easier. Next up we have bikinis, also very important. So I have three pairs of bikinis with me, plus a surf suit. I mean, it's just a bathing suit, but it's a little bit extra coverage and secure. So when I'm surfing, um, nothing just uh, floops out. Let's move on to shorts. I have one jean short. I have one short that's a little bit like loose and thin pretty cute also have a top that goes with it actually I have two other loose shorts this yellow one this black one I feel like these are just super handy to have because when you're in a surf town or when you're just like traveling a lot like this these could literally work as pajama shorts you could wear them with a cute top and make like a cute outfit out of it I love these shorts so much black matches with everything so that's also super handy then we're gonna move on to skirts I have two skirts with me this long flowery one um i got this at a thrift shop here in the netherlands it was only like two euros 50. i think it's actually supposed to be a dress i could actually wear this as a dress too but i just thought it looks really cute as a skirt so yeah i'm bringing this one and then i have another skirt this one a long one this one's so cute oh my god i can't wait to wear this oh no i just feel like this is gonna be so cute and I actually have a matching top with it as well so this is the top that goes with it like a tube top so yeah it's gonna be such a cute outfit oh my god i don't even know for what i occasion I'm gonna wear this but also we have a bunch of hotel collaborations coming up when we're in Curacao and in Mexico so that's also another reason why I don't want to look like a hobo <laughs> like I sometimes do when I'm traveling and actually have some nice outfits take some pictures and um yeah make some content for the hotels now we're moving on to tops I have a bell oh wait wait wait, wait. we're not done yet they're white thin long pants and then I also have a pair of leggings I'm gonna wear to the airport okay now we're gonna go on to t-shirts and tops one t-shirt which is this one it's super comfortable I feel like I could work out in this I feel like I could use this as pajamas you know I could use it for anything then I have a few tops they're kind of like crop tops a black one creme beige this one's really cute I haven't worn it yet but it says Mexico. Yeah, I have the matching top that goes with that short that I, was, that I showed you guys before. This top, which is also really cute and I've never worn before. Also got it at a secondhand store here in the Netherlands, but it's super cute. Then I have two blouses. Yeah, I can't wait to wear these. I feel like these would just be perfect for kind of like a cover up when you're at the beach, maybe when you're wearing your bikini and then maybe it's getting a little bit chilly or whatever. It's super thin. I'm pretty sure it's like linen. Also have the exact same one, but this one is what's stripes also very cute and so i have eight tops with me so that's actually not that bad oh never mind i have another top this one is also very cute i love this all of this what i just showed you all goes into my pillowcase okay and my backpack is still empty like it's amazing i'm bringing two sets of workout clothing so i have this green set with the top they are from aybl and oh my god i got these two sets and i am so happy i did because the quality is so amazing and workout sets you won't only wear when working out like you will wear them when you go hiking when you have like travel days maybe and it's hot and you just want to be comfortable like i would wear this as an outfit it's perfect i love 
of it. Next up, we are moving on to toiletries. This is my toiletry bag. It's, I don't know, not that big, I guess, but it's a little bit big. And in here I have, yeah, what do I have in here? I have so much random stuff in here, to be honest. I have some makeup thingies. I mean, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, but you know, just like lip gloss occasionally or something in my eyebrows or something. So I'm actually very happy that I'm not someone who wears a lot of makeup because when you've been traveling for a while and you're traveling lightweight, I feel like at some point you're just gonna keep downsizing and downsizing and downsizing. And even if you wear a girly that wears like a lot of makeup maybe before, I feel like after a few months or maybe a year or years of traveling, you will end up traveling with, I don't know, maybe just one lip gloss and a mascara or something. Well, before you might have had like an entire bag just for your makeup, you know? I've been traveling for eight years and I feel like I have downsized a lot. Like when we just left the Netherlands, I was traveling, so I was 14 at the time. I was traveling with this massive suitcase. Like it was massive. And I also had a backpack with me. I don't even know what I brought back then. Like what did I need? Like we literally moved into the jungles of Costa Rica. And I mean, what do you need there? Like you need bikinis, you need a few bikinis and a pair of shorts. You really don't need so much. That's something you will definitely learn from backpacking. One thing that I do still bring a lot with me is hair products. And that's because I don't know, the curly girls will understand. A lot of countries where I travel to, they don't really have the right products for my hair. So I always try to bring my own hair products. And when I'm traveling for a long time, I kind of just have to stock up on hair products and bring that along. So that kind of sucks because that takes up quite a lot of space in my bag. I've also been downsizing on that. So <laughs> right now I don't have so much that I'm bringing. I have a bottle of conditioner, a shampoo bar. Oh my God, shampoo bars and conditioner bars. I feel like those are also two things that are definitely essentials when you're backpacking. It's small and also it lasts like a really, really long time. One bar lasts three times as long as a regular bottle of shampoo. And I have a hair oil. I have this Reef Safe sunscreen, which I love. I got this one in Curacao. It's just pure zinc, which is amazing. I use this only for surfing, really. I love the sunscreen and it's waterproof. It's from Raw Elements. Crazy, like I've had this same bottle no, actually it's insane. I feel like this bottle is like endless because I bought this two years ago. No, over two years ago. Like three years ago or something. I bought this bottle in Curacao. I'm still using it. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Then I'm bringing this deodorant with me. This is 100% natural deodorant. I am bringing two bottles of contact solution with me. I wear contact lenses and I've always noticed that contact solution is always more expensive abroad. Speaking of contacts, I also bring a bunch of contacts with me. Obviously, if you don't wear contact lenses, but maybe you bring medication or whatever with you. So yeah, this kind of just differs for everyone. I'm bringing one bottle of argan oil. I use this for my skin. I use this in my hair. So it's very multifunctional. Hair brushes, toothpaste and a toothbrush. That was toiletries. For the ladies out there, I also bring a full bag of tampons with me. I don't know if I'm the only one. I feel like abroad, they're more expensive and also they're just not the ones that I like to use. So I always bring a full bag with tampons with me. Now we're moving on to shoes. I usually wear a pair of sneakers on my flight. Usually on my flight, I will be wearing, you know, most of my warm clothing that I'm bringing, shoes, a sweater and whatever. What I'm bringing is one pair of flip-flops. I usually would literally only bring one pair of flip-flops and wear one pair of shoes. But this time I am bringing these platform sandals as well. Like I said, I'm bringing like a lot more than I usually do on backpacking trips. These also take up a lot of space in my backpack. I had just enough space for them. So I was like, why not bring them? And that's because of the pillowcase hack. If you're not on a pillowcase hack yet, what are you doing? Have bags. Again, you do not need to bring three bags with you apart from your backpack. I just wanted to bring some bags. And oh my God, look at this. I got this at a secondhand store as well. Usually I only bring one tote bag with me and that's it. But yeah, this time I'm bringing this beach bag. I'm bringing this small bag, which is also very cute. And I'm bringing one tote bag. And a tote bag is definitely a necessity when you're traveling because you can use this for the beach. You can use it for your groceries. You can use it to put your laundry in. I don't know, whatever you want to do with it. I just think a tote bag is just, you know, you can use it for everything. Now we're moving on to other random travel essentials. My diving mask. Here I have my goggles. I'll try to link everything below in the description as well. I have a link that goes to my Amazon storefront. If you're not sure what exactly to bring, just go into the link of my Amazon storefront 
storefront and you can find all of your travel essentials. Cards, a sleeping mask, this bottle. This is so important to bring on your travels. This one is like two liters or something. I bring it with me everywhere. You're gonna need it when you go hiking. You can bring it to the beach. We are almost through now. The last category of things is electronics. I'm gonna go Pro Hero 7 together with floating hand grip and mouthpiece because I'm gonna be filming surf videos. I actually tried to film surf videos once with a GoPro that I had a new, brand new GoPro. First time I took it out surfing, didn't have a floaty or anything, I, but the waves were really good and I just really wanted to start filming with it. So I brought it with me and obviously I lost it. <laughs> So yeah, let's try it again and this time not lose it. A little tripod for either my phone or camera or even for the GoPro. Over ear headphones. I have my jewelry bag. This is not part of electronics. Here we have my drone that I just bought new. And very excited to start using this in Curacao and in Mexico and wherever I'm going to be going. My laptop, this sand disc, which is literally such a good hard drive. It's super small as you can see. It's super thin. I put all of my travel pictures and videos and everything on here. Got a little organizing bag. In this bag I have two travel adapters and then also I just have like some chargers and other cables in here. I think that's it. I also have a little journal that I'm bringing with me with a really cute picture of me and my boyfriend. <laughs> all of that goes into my little 35 liters backpack, which is crazy. And then my pillowcase. So, oh, almost forgot this little uh, bum bag with me. It's very small, not a lot fits in there, but I always wear this underneath my sweater to the airport and it fits my wallet, passport, a pen. So we have packed up everything. This is usually how I would go to the airport. My massive, it's actually pretty big now that it's packed up. I have this usually like under my sweater, my backpack, and not to forget my pillowcase. So this is how I'm going to be traveling for literally over four months and literally have everything I need. More than enough clothing with me and cute outfits. Even have an extra pair of shoes, which I usually wouldn't bring with me. So yeah, honestly, for this 35 liter backpack and a pillowcase, I think this is like, yeah pretty good. I'm so excited. Oh my god, we're leaving in four days and I cannot wait. Like, I want to leave right now, especially now that I packed everything. I'm just like... I'm ready to go right now. As I mentioned before, I have a full packing list linked down below in the description for you to download for free. So yeah, if you're struggling with packing or you just wanna make sure that you have everything and you do not forget any travel essentials, then definitely check it out and download my packing list in the link below. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about what I pack and I don't know what to pack, whatever, comment them down below and I'll answer all of them. We have some really, really cool adventures coming up. So if you wanna stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, like this video and I'll see you guys next week. Love you guys.